Hello and welcome back to Service Nerd. In today's short video, we're going to take another quick look at the ServiceNow San Diego new user interface for the next experience. You might have heard it called um, Polaris. So we're going to take a look at that and we're going to see can we enable or disable that on an individual user basis. Okay, so we're going to look at um, San Diego um, user experience again, the Polaris experience. I'm hoping by now everyone's heard of that, unless you've been off in some obscure country that's never heard of ServiceNow before. It's been talked about a lot on LinkedIn. There's quite a few YouTube videos on it. I've done a couple myself, um, but I thought I'd loop back around and just explore it a bit more. We, we've, we've, we saw it when it first came out. We're excited by it, I certainly was. But now what I wanna do is, is look at, can we enable or disable the experience on a user basis? Right, on an individual user basis. So we've already seen in one of our videos how we can activate it across the platform at a global setting from a property. So we we kind of forcing everyone that uses our instance to um, adopt the new interface, Polaris interface. What I want to see is, is can we allow it so only certain users can use that interface and we can switch them off? You, you know, we get it in all organizations where there's people that just can't let go of the past. They really have to have their old experience um, and be gently cajoled and cuddled into the new world. Um, I've been there before, um, definitely with uh, things like flow designer, form designer. So I understand. Um, so can we do that? And that's what we're going to look at today. But before we really get stuck in, I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone that subscribed and had comments so far. Um, if you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, um, please consider doing so. Um, it really helps out the channel. Um, and if you subscribed, hit the uh, the bell icon uh, just so you get notified when I upload new videos just like this one. Okay, so let's get started. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to go and look at how do you activate um, Polaris? How do you activate the uh, next experience? Um, by the way, that may or may not be a question on the admin delta for San Diego around the new user interface. I don't know, perhaps it might be. Um, anyway, the, um, we need to get to the properties, system properties. This of course is a San Diego instance. Um, and what we're gonna do here is just look for Polaris, quite simple. Um, I have done a video on this. And we have a property here, Glide um, UI Polaris experience. And that's set to true. Okay, so when we get a new instance that's already on San Diego, it'll be set to new as default. If you're upgrading, um, you would set that is um, set to false. We would um, add that to true or change that to true, sorry. Um, and then the new interface globally across the platform, this, this property um, controls it globally. The new Polaris experience would be enabled across the platform for absolutely everyone um, in our instance. But now begs the question, um, how do we control that for individual users? Okay. What if we want to do a nice soft rollout? What if we want to roll this new experience out to a few individuals um, to let them give us their feedback um, and, and continue the rollout? What if we want to do that? What if we want to enable uh, to, to allow that experience um, for when we release the new um, the UI out? So let's investigate how we do that. So in order to do that, we need to navigate to somewhere else in the system. Uh, if we just think about this logically, so what we're actually saying is we want an individual user experience to be different than that of the kind of um, platform itself. So the individual user experience, we might also say the individual user preference, right? So it's kind of logical. So we're gonna go to uh, user preferences. We go in here and we're just going to look for things, you know, just like we've looked in properties that contains Polaris. So where we have this, this user preference here, Glide UI Polaris Use. And this is enable the Polaris experience for all users by default. So this is by default all users and we've got system ticked here. So does that mean that if we make this an individual user preference, we can turn it on and off based on the user. Okay, so let's give it a go. So 
what I'm going to do, we've got this user preference, which is a system-based um, user preference. I'm going to create a user preference that's specific to a particular user. So almost override this one, right? So I created a um, user um, before that we can play with called um, Not Polaris. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my new user called Not Polaris. And I'm going to turn this off, right? So I'm going to turn it to false. So Polaris use false. No, no, we're not going to. Okay, I'm going to untick system because it's no longer system. And I'm going to do an insert and stay. Okay. So we've now got an individual user preference just for that user that's saying do not use Polaris. So then when we go over here to impersonate, a recent impersonation, it's already there. Perhaps should have picked a better name, but you get the idea. So when we now go over to impersonate, hey, we're now logged in as not Polaris. And we've got our, um, our other interface. Okay. Request items, let's have a look. There's nothing in here. It's quite a, a blank instance with not many permissions. Let's just click on that just so we can have a look. Okay, this is the, this is the catalog item, but it, we can tell it's not the Polaris interface. Then when we end the impersonation, I should stop calling it Polaris interface, shouldn't I? Let, let's use the real word, um, next experience. Now we're back in the next experience um, interface. So that allows us to control, that allows us to switch on um, Next Experience across the platform and then turn it off based on an individual basis. So what then happens if we want to turn it off across the platform, but then switch it on on an individual basis? That makes sense in my head. I hope you're following along. So let's go and give that a go. If we go back to our user preferences, um, we go to Polaris again. This time we should have two, right? So if we go to the system setting and we switch this off, so we're turning that off. We go back to, ah, okay. So that already looks like it's done it. Look, you can tell by how the, um, the list looks. And we turn this on true. So we've now got a situation where we've turned off the global preference. We've turned that to false. And for this not Polaris user, we've now switched this to true to say, yes, use it. So now when we go and impersonate a not Polaris user, we should see that we're back in the Polaris interface for um, this user. And we are, they probably won't have, oh no, they have, they've, they've got some, um, some menus. And then when we come back, so we will end the impersonation, we should be back in um, the original UI and we are. So you can do it both ways, right? And that's, that's really cool. So you can turn it on on the platform for the whole platform and then uh, off individually or vice versa. Awesome. So that's pretty cool, right? So it, it's one of those things that is out there, but it's not it's not really that well documented. Right. So it might take some time to find out some time to find out the information on how to do that. Um, but it leads us on to the next question. Right. So we can switch this thing on. We can switch it off. But there's got to be some process behind it that, you know, that, that in the modern world that we live in, it is how do we roll this out to users? Because, you know, you've, you've been there before. If you've done a service now upgrade, the biggest thing that users get kind of scared by, worried by is user experience, user interface. We can, you know, we, we, in ServiceNow, we can put on multiple integrations that are doing all kinds of wizardry. And no one really cares. Well, they do care, but they don't see that in the in the, the front end. So it's more often than not the user changes or the experience changes that that, that people tend to um, get nervous by. Even though as techies in the back end, we know it's not as bad as seven integrations, right? Or not as um, complex as seven integrations, should I say. Um, which leads me on to my next point, right? So there is um, a application on the, the, the store or a, um, a store app that you can download. Um, and that is the rollout next experience. 
Now, admittedly, I haven't got this, but it, I haven't downloaded this, but it looks really cool, right? And I think it's it, essentially it's a catalog item that allows um, users to request the experience and you can switch it on and off based on that request. And I think it's a really good idea. Credit to Roshan Rao from, from ServiceNow for doing this. I think it's a really good idea. Um, so I would urge you to go and check it out um, uh, and have a play. I think if I get time, I will do. I'll do a quick review on it, but I think it's a great idea. Well done, ServiceNow, on that one. Um, so, okay, so, so yeah, so what we've seen today is how we can switch it on and off based on um, Polaris on and off based on an individual basis. Um, I really hope you found it useful. Again, if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing it. It does make a massive difference. Um, anyway, happy coding. Take care. I'll uh, see you next time.